Hello. Welcome to this module on visualizing data as a polygon map in Google Fusion Tables. In this lesson, we will learn how to merge a data set with a KML mapping file, and then how to view your data as polygon shapes overlaid on Google Maps and edit the appearance of these maps. A polygon map displays shapes that represent areas such as provinces or districts. In order to visualize your data as a polygon map, you will first need to merge your program data with the KML mapping file. Here we are in the Google Fusion Tables application. We have already imported our data into Google Fusion Tables. The KML mapping file containing data on the location of borders or shapes for the districts in Mpumalanga, and the program data file containing our program data. I've opened this program data file here. It is imperative that both files to be merged have a common indicator with matching contents. In this example, the KML mapping file has an indicator called district that contains the names of each district in Mpumalanga province, and the program data file also has an indicator called district containing the names of each district. These files will be merged by linking this matching indicator. In order to merge files, you will select File, Merge, and here you will select the Google Fusion tables that you wish to merge on. I will open KML Districts in Pumalanga. Select Next. Here I will choose the indicator to link. So in this table, I would like to link the indicator District with the indicator District in my KML mapping file. It is very important that the data in, within each of these indicators is identical. Ethelenzaini, Ethelenzaini, Herzabande, Herzabande, and Kangala, and Kangala. It does not matter that the data is in different orders, just as long as the content is the same. Now that I see these two are the same, I choose Next. And here I can select which indicators to include in the merged data set. By default, it will include all indicators. I choose Merge. And now I have created a new table called Merge of these two data sets. I'll select View Table. And now I can see my program data like I had before. And then I also see the data for my mapping file, the shape length, the shape area. To view this data as a map, select Map of Geometry, and here you will see the districts within the province of Pumalanga in South Africa. To edit the appearance of this map, select Change Feature Styles from this left bar. Since this is a polygon map, we will select Fill Color under the Polygon heading. Here, select Buckets. Buckets are the number of categories, or buckets, you wish your data to be divided into. For this example, we wish to see our data divided into three different categories. So I will choose Divide Into, and I'll adjust this number to three. Under Column, you want to select the indicator to be displayed on the map. So for this map, I wish to show HIV prevalence among females of all ages, pulling from the ANC 2012. Always select Use This Range. This will reset the default values to be within the range of your data. So now I see that the range of values has changed. If I wish to change the values away from the default, I can click within a box and change the value using the keyboard. I wish to keep this as is. I can do the same for the upper values. I can click within the box delete, change the value. Again, I'll keep as the default. I can change the color of each polygon or shape. So I wish to show low HIV prevalence as green, middle range as yellow, and high range as red. I also want to include a legend on my map. I'll click Automatic Legend, since this is a polygon map, I check the box saying 
show polygon field legend. I can adjust the title of the legend. Right now it says HIV prevalence females all ages ANC 2012. By default, I will keep the default and choose save. If I click on one of the polygons, I will see the info window that tells me the data for that district. So for example, Ethlin Zaney, the HIV prevalence in 2010 was 37.7. Here in 2012, it's 35.1. So this is the data from my data set related to this district. I can change the information that appears in this window the same as I change the info window in the cards. So if I come over here and I select change info window, I can uncheck any boxes that I do not wish to show on my card. So for this map I only want to show HIV prevalence. So I'll leave the check boxes next to prevalence in 2010, 2011, and 2012 as well as the district. I choose save. Now when I click on one of the districts I see the name of the district and then the HIV prevalence for the three different years. That concludes this lesson on visualizing data as a polygon map in Google Fusion Tables. Thank you!